friends, in this session we will see a new identity. Can you find out if this is actually an identity? Consider the left hand side of this identity. To simplify this, we need to remove the brackets. After multiplication, we will get this expression. But this doesn't look like the right hand side of our identity. So how do we get that? When we look at these two middle terms, we can see that they both have variable x in common. We can take that x as common and write it like this. And now we can see that this is the same as the right hand side of this identity. Therefore, this given expression is an identity. Now, let us look at another way to prove this identity. For that, let us consider this rectangle and divide it in four parts as shown in the figure. Now, suppose we have to find the area of this rectangle. How can we do that? There are two ways to find the area of this rectangle. Let us see the first one. We know that the area of a rectangle is equal to the product of its length and breadth. Can you tell me which is the length and which is the breadth? The length of this square is x and the length of this part is a. Therefore, the total breadth of this rectangle is x plus a. The length of this square is x and the length of this part is b. Therefore, the total length of this rectangle is x plus b. So, this is the length and this is the breadth. Substituting these values in this, we get this. Now, let us see the second way to find the area of this rectangle. As you can see, that this rectangle is made up of four parts. So, the area of this rectangle is equal to the sum of the areas of these four parts. Area of the first part is equal to x times x which is equal to x square. Similarly, area of the second part will be a times x, area of the third part will be b times x and area of the fourth part will be a times b. Taking x as common from the middle two terms, we will get the final answer as this. The area of the rectangle that we get using both the methods will be equal. As you can see that this is the same identity that we saw earlier. In this session, we have seen this identity. In the next session, we will see some examples based on this identity.